Hello, this is Alex, and we are here in line for Lightning Rod. There's only a 10 minute wait right now, and that's nice. The park just opened a few minutes ago, and it's not, it's running without the front car, the zero car, and so I can't wait to try that out. All right, you've heard about 165 feet, go 73 miles an hour if you're ready to make some noise. So we just rode it in the front without without the little zero car on it and it's all even better that way. Like with the smaller front it was really good but now it's amazing. Like you feel so free, it's unobstructed views, it is so fun. The airtime with the full train is great today. For comparison, it's running about as good as it did back in 2016. The airtime is I'd say the strongest I've ridden on any, as uh, strongest air time on any coaster I've been on. Stronger than Storm Chaser, yes. Um, it was very intense, very good, um, very free, very open. It, the launch was really forceful today, really good. The trim was off today, so that's really cool. They, they're used, to, they added a trim to it when they reopened it, and they, it was off today, which is great. Dragonflyer and Mad Mockingbird back there, and then the restaurant Till and Harvest is under construction. Right here's drop line and the polar bears. The drop line thing. We just got off drop line, and that was very fun. We had a great view of Wild Grove, and we were angled directly at it. And there's a lot of it looks like half of it's complete. The rides, at least, it's really cool. So we just got off a mystery mine, and it's fun, very fun as always. Great dressage, my favorite dressage. Great theming, great music. The music is just so fun, I like hum along to it. It's fun, and the, of course, the Beyond Vertical Drop, the twist, 45 degrees, super fun. And the last two inversions, those are, those are great. Also, just the rest of it's fun anyways too, so.
we just finished at Country Fair. We did Sky Rider, Waltzing, Swinger, um, The Amazing Flying Elephants, Dizzy Disc, and um, Scrambler. So yeah, now we're going back to Lightning Rod. We're here in Timber Canyon and with some hot chocolate and we are headed towards the Christmas Tree Light Show. We are here in the new park and we are waiting for the Christmas Tree Light Show. I've already seen it a few weeks ago and it's the best light, the best lights during the Dollywood Christmas event. We just got off of Thunderhead at night and that was one of the best times I've ever been on it and it was it's so awesome half of it the dark part is I'm um, kind of like voyage at night for comparison so it's really cool my third favorite night ride behind lightning rod and voyage we just finished Tennessee tornado at night and it's lit up all red and it was probably my best experience on Tennessee Tornado ever. Plus we've our, we did Drop Line at night and Wild Eagle at night, which Wild Eagle was probably the best I've ever ridden too. So it's really cool. And here we are at the Northern Lights. We just got off Barnstormer, got our cinnamon bread, and we have 15 minutes till the park closes, and it's like abandoned now because everybody left after the parade. We're trying to get on lightning rod before the park closes. Hopefully it won't close.